So this is the code's question 401 binary watch. I think the main reason why this problem is so heavily disliked is a lot of people believe that this should be categorized as a medium question rather than easy. The fact that it is easy heavily relies on you knowing and understanding a particular method. But if you did it the long way, then I would agree that this question is worthy of being categorized as medium. So the question is as follows. You have a watch with 10 LEDs, four to represent the hour and the remaining six to describe the minute. So your function is, has one parameter, a integer n, which represents the number of LEDs that are currently on. And the goal is to return all possible times that the watch could represent. So in the example that they give us, it's pretty trivial, but if one light is on, so n equals one, these are all the times that they could possibly give us. Um, an important thing to note, which is described in the note section here, is that all these times are formatted properly. So here the one has a leading zero, the two has a leading zero, uh, and so forth. So that's just something to take into account when we are uh, building our uh, function. So. The key to unlocking the solution in this problem is really in this line here. Each LED represents a zero or a one. So what that translates to is an LED being on represents a one in binary. So essentially what we're gonna do is we create a time or generate a time. And if the number of ones in its binary representation equal the number that we're looking for, or the number that we're given, then we're gonna add that time into our array. So the tough part here is, okay, well, how do we know how many ones a particular time has? Like if we have the, in the example, 325, how do we know that there are five ones in that binary representation? Well, that's where the method comes in. So Java has a particular method called bit count. And in the documentation here, uh, bit count takes in a parameter n, which is just an integer. And as its return value here, this method returns the count of the number of one bits in the two's complement binary representation of an integer value. So all this means is that it's gonna output the number of ones that are in the binary representation of our number. Two's complement is really important for negative numbers we don't need to worry about that because we are only dealing with positive numbers. If we go back to our code, a great place to start is to just create the array that we are going to return later. So we're going to have an array list, type string, and we're going to call it results. And that's going to be a new array list. So for those who might be confused that the return type is list, but we're giving a array list to return. Basically list is a interface. And since array list implements list, it is valid data structure to return. So now we have built our dynamic array we need to create all the possible times. So we're gonna create a 2D for loop. So for int hour, So this 2D for loop essentially generates all the possible times. And now for a particular time, we want to count the number of ones that appear in its binary representation. And then if that equals the number that we are looking for, then we're gonna add it to the array list. So if then we're gonna add it to our array list. So results.add. And we're not just simply adding the hour and minute, we need to do that in such a format which satisfies a proper clock. 
So we want to string dot format. So we want percent D percent D where the first one is the hour and the next one is the minute. And then we would go back and return the results. So some of you might be able to see the first error or the, I guess it's not necessarily an error, but the bug for minute values less than 10. So single digit minute values. We're gonna enter what we were asked not to do where we have something like 10 to. So we want to mask this with a leading zero when the value is less than 10. So there are numerous ways to do this. The most simple is if the minute is less than 10. Then we mask with a zero. Otherwise, we don't. And that should be it.